Got a weekend in the woods, but a Wednesday edition update here. And it's an exciting update because we've got our first sap coming. So I'm gonna walk out here. The vacuum pump's a little louder than the old one, so I'm just gonna show you the sap running. I probably won't, you won't be able to hear me say anything, which is probably good. But I'll show you the sap coming in before I walk in. We're getting about 100 gallons an hour right now, uh, which is pretty close to the fastest we've ever had it run. And it's only 39 degrees, so the vacuum pump is definitely helping. So you can see there the new vacuum pumps working well pulling about 24 inches of vacuum which we never got more than 14 before um, so if things are true and you get five percent more sap for each extra inch of vacuum we should be getting 50 percent more sap which will let us make 50 percent more syrup um, we're putting some things together we still got some things that we haven't done yet so uh, we had some plumbing issues that my dad's been working on today. They all seem to be fixed now. No syrup making tonight, but we should make a bunch tomorrow. So this weekend at the public market, you'll be able to get fresh 2023 syrup. So this is, if I can get it to zoom in here, I didn't get it filled to the top like I should have, but the sap coming out of the tree is like a 1.4% 1, 1. sugar. All right, which is pretty standard for what we get. 2% uh, is what you kind of hope for, and anything over that's kind of a bonus. We tend to be between 1, 2, and 1, 8, depending on the day. Um, so that's pretty standard for us. Coming out, it's starting to slow down. It's getting colder. It's pumping right now. Our, uh, our releaser pumps every three minutes right now. Pumps five gallons every time it pumps. So that's every three minutes is 20 times an hour, which is about 100 gallons. But it's going to start slowing down, so... Uh, we're finishing up some stuff in here, and then we will call it a night. Right now we have, you can see the plumbing issue we had this morning. I was just cleaning up after that. We have about 200 gallons of sap in the tank right now. Um, I would assume we'll get two or 300 more before it stops today. And then um, tomorrow it's supposed to be really nice, so it should open right up tomorrow and give us hopefully couple tanks full 2,000 gallons with the shooting for tomorrow so we'll see what else happens today but probably I'll give you an update tomorrow when we're actually making some syrup so I'm out here checking things out making sure everything's going okay my dad put our we usually buy these little lights and put up in the driveway so you can kind of see where you're going um, the driveway's pure ice so I'm not sure it helps a whole lot with that but I'm gonna go in uh, show you how much sap is running and uh, then I'm gonna show you a couple other things and piece all this together into one very informational uh, Thursday night video. So I'm gonna show you the sap and try not to kill myself on this ice. So there was a sap running. Barnaby and Quincy are with me. You can't see them because they are black and they blend in with the darkness that I'm walking in right now. Again, trying not to die because it's pure ice out here. Uh, but I'll show you how what the sap uh, concentration is coming out of the trees today. I'll show you what the RO's got going on and a couple other things before I end my enthralling videos for the night. So here's Quincy and Barnaby. You can see them now because we're inside. They're checking out, making sure there's no syrup on anything that I've been working on here. That's still last year's syrup. The last little bit of last year's syrup is in there, bottling up to go to some restaurant accounts. Here is the sap coming out of the tree. And I spilled some on the way back, so I can't, it's not up to the rim like it really should be, so it's easier to read. 
but you can see it's one, one six, a little over a one six there come out of the trees, which is good uh, for us. Sometimes we get down as low as 1.2. Sometimes we'll get up around a two. We've had a two, two a couple times, but normally our trees run about between 1.2 and 1.8. Um, and then I'll clip together a video that shows you what it is coming out of the RO because it's really cool to see how much the RO does for us. So the sap coming out of the RO, the first pass is a little, a bit over an eight. So like an 8.2, maybe 8.1, uh, which is a major difference from what is coming out of the woods. And that is the biggest benefit to the osmosis machine. I'll give you a quick video of it, but it's gonna be loud. So I'll do a whole video about the reverse osmosis machine at some point, but real quick is what it does is it takes all the sap uh, from outside the other side of that wall right there from our thousand gallon tank, runs into the osmosis machine, it squeezes it, um, and an osmosis machine that you have in your house throws out the particles and the, everything else and you keep just the pure water. A reverse osmosis machine, we keep the particles and then right up there is all just basically pure distilled water with nothing else in it. We use that to wash the RO, rinse the RO, do everything else we need. It actually runs into that sink right there. Um, that's how we wash a lot of things and it overflows out the back over there. Okay, so it overflows out the back. Uh, once those fill up, those hold about 500 gallons of water total. Um, and it takes our sap from around 1.2 to 1.6% normally and pushes it up to eight. After it goes through once, we'll actually flip some valves and do it again and try to get it up as close to 16 as we can. Um, and that cuts our boiling time down by quite a bit. I'll give you the exact figures of that in just a little bit. So a quick finish up to that last video I put together. Uh, the sap at, eight, at <clears throat> sorry, the sap at 1.6% sugar uh, will have to take out 50, around 53 gallons of water to make a gallon of syrup. And by taking it to 8%, we only have to take out about 10. So the RO right now is taking out 43 of the 53 gallons of water that we have to would have to boil away normally to save us a significant amounts of boiling time. Um, once everything gets rolling and I run it through the second time, um, I'll add one final piece to this before I post it that tells you how much more water comes out the second time it goes through. And so originally we'd have to boil away around 53 gallons of water if we just took the straight sap and put it into that evaporator and turned it on. So for every gallon of syrup that comes out the end right there, we would boil 53 gallons of steam that would go up that pipe and that pipe right there. Um, with the RO, we're gonna hopefully get it down to that we only have to boil away around five gallons of water. So last video of the night here, we ended up not running the uh, concentrate through the RO a second time just because we wanted to make sure we had enough to boil tonight. And, make sure that nothing was leaking or working bad or anything like that. So uh, we did not run the concentrate through a second time. We've got just a little bit of sap left here. And then we're gonna stop for the night. No syrup tonight, but we'll have syrup tomorrow.